So how do you think about how you're going to start a company? I'm pretty fascinated by the, the breadth of the companies that you've done. So you have how many? Seven active companies and another seven that you're working on? So first of all, I actually like starting a, a company in a new area because just intellectually I find it very interesting to tackle a new problem. And I think sometimes people coming from slightly outside have a more interesting and original perspective. I love tackling a new situation and, and learning about it. And so far but it's really worked. How do you worked. even know the problem? I mean, you're in plus size women's dresses yep. and databases for the, for the cloud, right? Yeah. So most of the problems I have run across somehow. You know, database we had run across uh, at DoubleClick and every technology company knows that the problem to scaling is the database. It's getting more and more complicated and, and everyone knew that at the time buying an Oracle database was incredibly expensive. It was a single thing that was really, really expensive. And so anytime I see that, I think there must be an opportunity. We can make it better and cheaper. Um, so that, that was an explanation there. At uh, Gilt, I saw the challenge of plus size. I mean, I saw our brands who would say, look, we don't want to uh, create plus size clothing. We don't want women who have plus size wearing our brands. But of course, a third of the country is plus size. And so it's just underserved. And so most people know that. And I think there's, a, there's an opportunity there. So in, in, in Zola, I saw it at, at, uh, at Gilt as well. Uh, it was a category of e-commerce. Business Insider, I was a potential client. When you started Zola, it was what, the, the eighth company in the space? Wedding oh yeah, registries. easily. There were at least eight, if not 10, wedding registries. But I could feel the pain point, and that's what I always look for when I'm starting a new company, which is, are consumers complaining about something that I think I can solve? So there, they were complaining that, yes, they registered at Target or at uh, Bloomingdale's, but in fact, what they really wanted as a gift was yoga classes or NYX tickets or m one of the million things that are not sold at uh, Bloomingdale's or Target. They just offered as a product the things they sold. They didn't offer as a product what you wanted to buy. And so I just thought, wait a second, I now can solve that problem and make available everything they have plus many, many other products that are out there and make it more beautiful and solve some other little problems along the way. And, and so now it's doing hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue.